Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back. I am Timothy Adon, and welcome to episode four of my audio adventures. Today, we will be reviewing the trailer that I started in the last episode. Now, last episode, I talked about my process of starting um, writing a trailer, which involved marking all the important points in the video and setting up my template and getting a basic theme going. Now what I didn't do last video was tell you how that basic theme came to fruition. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then tell you how I have layered the piece since then. And then I'm gonna show you what it is that I have so far and then we'll call it a day. And in theory, um, I will have this finished either this week or next week. I am going on a camping trip this weekend and that has been soaking up a lot of my time. So we'll see what happens. All right, so um, the basic theme, it took me a little while to come up with it. And uh, what I did was I ended up just taking a walk, which is one of my methods of trying to clear my head and get in the zone. And this is the theme that came to mind. So, very, very basic. Keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. It doesn't change the entire time. <clears throat> so, and that is how I got that. Um, once I got that theme in my head, I came over, I, I recorded it, I adjusted the uh, sign so that it would play like that. Um, that took me a little bit, a little while. I'll probably have a separate episode of how to read this. Um, I'm not going to do that today. And then after that is when the Godzilla and Taiko drums came in. Because once I had that theme down, I had this, this percussion rhythm going on in my head. And that just kind of evolved on its own. So you see how, despite the fact that the rhythms are completely different from each other, they all manage to land right in sync. And so it kind of gives it a slightly chaotic, chaotic but with a mathematical precision, I guess is a good way to put it. And then after that, it took me a little while to come up with this part. But it was very necessary. Um, it kind of came to me because I got stuck. And I knew that there was something that needed to kind of fill up the high end. And it took me a little while to figure it out. But kind of going back on the limited amounts of techno and dubstep that I've ever heard. Um, I, ended up com I ended up getting uh, this rhythm that most things end up having M most it just see it it feels as if uh lots of dubstep and techno has this uh type of thing in it Now that part is all straight 16th notes. Nothing necessarily chaotic about that except for the high-pitched tinniness um, mixed together with the chaotics of the percussion on top of the fact that um, the three-note the three note mantra up here is two dotted quarters and a quarter. 
And so that that was what I ended up finishing the last episode. Um, and then since then, I modified the tinny part to kind of build up to right here. So it builds up for the second section. And then it just kind of goes on from there following the cellos, which I added in last. Or the cello and bass, rather. And it's also at that section that the Godzilla and Tycho drums kind of cut out. I will probably add those in towards the end again, but for now that's not where they are. Um, after that I came up with, um, I, I kind of wanted a, a high-pitched note to kind of pierce through and give emphasis to certain parts, and it evolved into something a little bit more. It ended up turning into my melody. So let me just show you that. So this this part kind of got away from me a little bit cuz originally it was just supposed to be B B B And that's it. It's supposed to do that and it's supposed to do it a few times. And then it ended up turning into a melody. Um which I like. I like the melody. It's just it it it, it escaped from me a little bit. Um and that will happen. Like eventually you'll get onto a creative tangent and it won't stop. And then by the time you're done, something that you expected to be very simple turns out to be very complicated. So don't be afraid of that, if you're one of those people that are afraid of that. Um, so, and once that was done, I still needed to come up with a beginning. And, it, and after... Actually, no, I'm going to skip that part right now. Because the next part that I came up with was, ac was actually the end. Um, with this fourth instance of sign. Cause I, cause once I saw the end of the video here, let me just show you that really quick. So I needed something kind of big and doomy, because the last thing that you see is this this whole invasion force coming in right before the logo cuts in, and. I came up with something before I before I came up with the beginning. Also, don't be afraid to do things out of order. So that was what I came up with. I need to modify that a little bit. To be a little bit deeper. But that is why I added that in, and you will see that in just a second. Alright, and then I added in the beginning. Right. And that beginning part I came up with next. And I had been kind of mulling that over in my head. You know, th with the combination of how this fades in on top of the very sudden change to... Uh, the first scene of the video. Just like that. And I had been mulling it over and mulling it over and finally I figured out how to make sign do my bidding and have have a single note that builds up. And then after that I decided that because I needed something to balance out the high end going on through here I added in this one last sample. It also comes in play 
and it's called ambient distortion. And let me just show you what that does by itself. See that? It's very, very doomy. It's very awesome. Not necessarily much by itself. And, you know, a, no a sound like that you don't necessarily want to have heard by itself um, in something like this. Because it's usually just meant for a sound effect. But when applied... See that? It gives a nice balance. The first hit right in the entry there, and it does it a few times. And in fact, it also does that at the end here. To help help give the ending a little bit more oomph. Alright, so now let's take this whole thing and let me just show you the video as a whole now bear with me um, my laptop is a little bit on the slower side so recording things you know, recording this video and showing you a video and music it tends to lag behind a little bit so I might have to start it and restart it a couple times alright let me just hit play here All right, and that's what I have so far. I still need to do the logo, which won't take me too long, I don't think. Um, and it, the video didn't lag this time, which is awesome. It's so much better when the video doesn't get interrupted. And that is it. That is all I have for you today. Um, I will try to get this done and post it hopefully next week. And the video that I'm going to do next, um, I've got a few ideas roiling around in my head. Um, number one of which is probably uh, a, a conversation on creativity. Um, and I just want to talk about like how I get creative and what methods I use and what methods I hear of other people using and probably go into reasons as to why I use a laptop instead of a desktop. Um, and another video I want to do is uh, how sign works, which I don't even know entirely. Everything that I do is all experimentation um, and just adjusting presets. But I will try my absolute darndest to show you how that works. And aside from that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will speak to you again very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>